The first time we built the robot, which is about three years ago, and we competed, uh, not only did we do super good here in the Rio Grande Valley, but we were able to compete in state here in Texas and take the kids all the way to St. Louis, Missouri. Beautiful thing about it is that our students are very, very low socioeconomic. Some of our students have never left the valley. They didn't know that they had this in them. They just thought, hey, you know, people gave up on us. We're just gonna be, it's kind of like a holding tank and once we're out of here, well, we're just out of school once we're 18. But what this did is it gave these kids a second chance to belong to something. Honestly, I didn't have interest in robotics. I didn't. Like, I literally thought it was just like for nerds and everything and I thought I wasn't smart enough to get into it. If most people know I've been bullied my whole life, a lot of, I've never been the biggest kid, I've never been the strongest. And I just joined the team to see, hey, I'll finally get a chance to do something. Well, I was in a downward spiral because I was, I was in jail and now I'm on house arrest and I'm still putting in the time to this robot which ends up leading to me to being responsible for the future. How I want to be perfected, like how I perfected this robot. And the team has changed me in a lot of ways, honestly. Yeah, there is a point in my life where, yeah, I just wanted to end it. I was done with everything. But when I joined here, it was like, well, finally a place I belong. I mean, these kids, honestly, they weren't angels. They were not angels, not even close to being angels. But what I saw in them was just a change, the change of attitude. When they went to the world championships up in St. Louis, Missouri, these kids didn't feel like they had to be tough or we are ousted because we're different from everyone else. They were hanging out with valedictorians, AP students from New Zealand, Australia, Mexico, and they became kids again. We won like like the whole role of the of the competition like we kept winning back to back and like we made our coach proud and everything and everybody was so excited like we literally celebrated that day they don't expect much from us because we're like the like the school that nobody wants to go to because it's like the worst school you know? Our students are actually doing something healthy, that they're educating themselves, that I'm seeing them grow, not just emotionally, but personally. And that is so rewarding, knowing that we become a second family. And every time that we meet together, these students are able to talk about something that they have in common, other than something that is troubling them or a problem, but it's something positive. Personally, what I get out of this is to see young lives change. Um, see young ladies getting inspired to do something for themselves. Seeing young men becoming men and being dedicated at something that they thought they never could do. My outlook on the future would be not to be afraid to step out of the box. Because with this robot, I did not only tear the box, I ripped through it, I bit through it. And the same way that I want to see life is being uncomfortable in that box, but being able to tear it up and get everything right and succeed.